if you are using a Windows PC or laptop alongside your Galaxy phone, there's been no proper way to sync the Samsung internet browser between the two. Well, that's about to change. Samsung has just released the beta version of the Samsung internet for PC, finally allowing users to browse and sync their data seamlessly between phones and the desktop. According to Samsung, this new version is designed to bridge mobile and desktop, enabling users to sync their bookmarks, browsing history, and personal data. Everything is securely connected through Samsung Pass, which means you can now auto-fill forms or sign into the website across devices with just one tap. Another neat feature, you will get the option to resume browsing where you left off when switching between your Galaxy phone and PC. It's a continuation of that cross-device experience Samsung has been perfecting for years. If you have ever switched between your Galaxy phone and tablet, you already know how smoothly it works. You just open the recent screen and continue browsing instantly. Now, the same experience is coming to the PC and that's honestly a big, big, big step forward. But that's not all. Samsung Internet for PC also introduces Galaxy AI integration, adding an extra layer of smartness and efficiency to your browsing. Once you sign in with your Samsung account, you will get access to powerful AI tools like Browsing Assist, which can summarize long web pages or translate content instantly, helping you get the information you need faster than ever. That means all those handy AI features you are enjoying on your phone are now coming to the bigger screen, making Samsung Internet on PC not just convenient but intelligent too. You will be able to sync your bookmarks, history, passwords through Samsung Cloud, Keep your credentials safe with Samsung Pass and use the continue on other devices feature to move effortlessly between phone and computer. Now, the only catch, this beta version isn't available for everyone yet. It's currently limited to the US and the Korea only. I did try to enroll myself in the beta version, but it clearly said that access is restricted to those two regions for now, starting from October 30th. Hopefully, Samsung expanded soon so users in other countries can join the testing phase too. So, for now, hold tight, it's coming just not everywhere yet. This is generally an exciting news for the Galaxy fans and I wanted to share it with you all. So, yeah, that's it for today. Now, what's your thoughts on this? Let me know your let me know your thoughts in the comment section and as always, I will catch you in the next one. It's your boy Fida from Cybertech, signing off. Peace out.